You keep this place pretty clean, Brooke. Hmm? Looks like you were robbed. Robbed? I'd have a lot less to pick up if that were the case. No, Junior and Jamie had a half day at school today. They did this in half a day? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Listen, ever since Tad carried off Dixie, Junior and Jamie have been beside themselves. You mean he actually came in here and... and... Yes, like red carried Scarlet. Mm -hmm. I was hoping this is why he took off. You think this is finally it? Oh, I hope so. Not as much as two little boys the I know. Oh, hope. What? What? Slow down, slow down. What? 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 Car? Dad's huh? car. Yeah, we saw it from your bedroom window. What were you doing in my bedroom? Uh, did you see him? No. Where are they? I, I don't know. Never mind. It was our car. I know it was. Cause they were just here. Where'd they go? Where'd who go? <gasps> Is Ryan okay? Yeah, his fever is dropping. His lungs are getting better, but I'm, I'm really worried about his heart. Why? What's the matter with his heart? He's bolted me right out of it. Haley, please, do you think you can help me get back in? Well, I was wondering where my famous cardiologist's son would pay me a visit. You got that backwards. I visit you, you pay me. <laughs> you wouldn't make your poor old mother pay for us. your services, would you, darling? Not chintzy of you, David. Oh, come now, darling. Take that scowl off your face. You develop frown lines. Hmm? Kiss mother hello. Sorry, Vanessa. I have sick patients to attend to. And unlike you, I don't keep people I care about waiting. I mean, you must be mistaken. The woman I met, I, I can't believe that. They're one and the same. But Hayward just looked right through her. I mean, the woman was collapsed on the ground. She was just writhing, and he, he walked away. He didn't yes, help that's her. That's what David Hay Hayward is capable of. He's a monster. But even to his own mother? You don't believe me. OK? Read this. I had him investigated when he came back to town. Mother, Vanessa Bennett. That's it. Oh, my God. He really is a monster. There's more. Keep reading. Oh, it says that his father died when David was 12. Cause of death unknown. Yes, that's the only thing my guy couldn't come up with. It wasn't even on the death certificate. Well, that's odd, isn't it? Yes, oh, yes. Well, it says, uh, what, he went to junior high and high school, boarding school, college, medical school, I see. This was quite a privileged life. His mother's quite a socialite, I understand. Yes, look, all these clippings of her going from one gala to another. Okay, so... David's mom had him shipped off to boarding school so she could leave this very glamorous life here and abroad. Well, I understand that David would have issues with his mommy, but to leave her to die on the ground? There's more between the lines than in them. Oh, really? You care to theorize? Not yet. 
When I mentioned his parents, I told him his mother must have been quite a lady. He went ballistic. He threatened me. He said, in no uncertain terms, that I should consider myself warned. Oh, well, then we should start a club. And now his mother has suddenly appeared in Pine Valley. What an unexpected twist of good fortune. Adam, the woman collapsed. Yes, well, that's a pity, but Providence still smiles on us. We can report him for refusing to treat a patient for negligence, for dereliction of duty. It's exactly what I did. I went to Joe Martin and reported him, and Joe Martin brought Hayward right into his office, and Dr. Hayward stood there and looked me in the eye and lied. He just claimed he had a, a page that he had to run off and answer. He didn't have a cell phone? He didn't have a page. The whole thing was a lie. But it was my word against his. So Joe had no choice but to just, you know, let it ride. His man is just slick enough to be dangerous. Well, he thinks he is, anyhow. He followed me to my office, and that's when he warned me that I should, you know, stay out of his business. And what was your response? Well, nobody manipulates me. Not in lives to tell the tale, anyway. <laughs> well, what are we going to do about this man? How are we going to stop him before he hurts someone else? We? Of course, we. You want to help me? You came to me, remember? Well, now, Adam, are, are you holding a grudge against him? Hell, yes. Well, you certainly have every right to. I mean, the man tried to kill you. <laughs> but you know what I think? I think you're holding more than a grudge, Adam. I think you're holding something back from me. What is it? Come on, tell me. Jillian, I know you had a lover, okay? But I thought you got past it. I thought all was forgotten and forgiven. I, I mean, you and Ryan were on the run together. Yes. And, and things were better, but I, you know, I should have known that I was sitting on a ticking time bomb and it was going to explode right in my face. Come here, Jillian. I, I, I'm not following you. Um, you're not being very clear. Okay, maybe if you um, started over at the beginning and, and told me everything, I'd, I'd be able to understand and help you. Jillian, you don't have to be ashamed. I won't judge you. Yes, you will. You're just such a good person, you would never understand why I did what I did. How many times do I have to tell you I'm a reformed person? You should have known me from my darker ages. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies. Mrs. Santos, you look 100%. Oh, 200, in fact. Thank you very much. I feel good. Good. And how is our favorite patient this afternoon? Resting comfortably? No, thanks to you. Well, at least he's safe and warm. Perhaps I should run another cardiac workup on him for safe measure. No, you stay away from him. You stay away from us, you sadist. You filthy rotten snitch. Princess, an outburst like that can get you thrown out of the hospital. Yeah, cool it, Jillian. You're in enough trouble already. I'm glad for Mrs. Lavery that she has a good friend like you to watch out for her. My regards to your husband. All right, you don't have to answer this, okay? The guy you had the affair with? David Hayward? Oh. <laughs> Jillian, when you step in it, you really step in it, huh? Yeah. I cannot do this much Where'd longer. Where'd you go? Well, well, come on, come on, don't, 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 don't leave anything out. Wait, 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 I can't get an answer out. And I can hardly stand up. I need a timeout. And you have to sit down. Oh, yes. And tell us, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. You want to hear everything. I take it, you everything. heard? Yeah, I'm putting it all together as we go along. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so. okay. Well, well, go ahead. You start. Me? Yeah. Speak, 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 right, speak, right, speak, right, speak. Right. <laughs> I'm happy to announce the reunion of one Dixie Cooney with one Thaddeus J. Mart. <laughs> I am also overjoyed to announce that I know two smart alecky kids who weren't so smart alecky after all. They were just plain smart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, you two were absolutely right. We have always loved each other, and we belong together. 
Duh! What <laughs> took you so long? Well, it was, it was me, mostly. I guess we would have been together sooner, but um, I found out that I was sick and I didn't want to worry anybody. Uh, well, more on that later. The important thing is everything is going to work out as it should, okay? We're back together. Things are going to be fine from here on out. Yes! Yeah. I love happy endings. Endings? We're talking about endings. We're just beginning. Then you're gonna be okay? You're not sick anymore? Oh, Jamie, remember our conversation about, about personal questions? No, no, it's okay, it's okay. Um, yeah, Jamie, actually, I am still sick, but I do have people watching me very, very closely. Dr. Hayward says that I'm gonna be A-okay, right? Right. <laughs> so how about a big hug for me, okay? Come on. It makes me feel oh, wonderful. Oh, no, you got it. Oh, so, good to I need see another you. favor. This time my future's riding on it. Come in. Come on. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I wanted to die. I, 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 I kept um, trying to reach him to prove to him that I really love him, and somehow I did. But then he, then everything was going great, and, and, and until Jackson Montgomery arrested him for assaulting Edmund. So I had, I had I had to get money to bail him out, and I, I didn't have nowhere to go. So I went to David, and I begged him for the money. And he said he would give it to me under one condition. And that is if I sleep with him. And you did? Oh, jeez. But wait a minute, I, th I thought they, they dropped the assault charges. Yeah, they did. But I didn't know it. And, and when I found out, I went right back to David and gave him the money back and I broke it off between us and he didn't take it too well. I didn't care. I mean, <laughs> I was madly in love with Ryan. We were so happy. And, you know, and then he got arrested for rape. And, you know, the rest. I needed money to escape. And I, I was locked up so I couldn't give it to you. Yeah, and I, I went back to David because I was really desperate. I had nowhere to go. I was just desperate. So you slept with him again? No. No, I, I didn't have to. I, I offered. He said it wasn't necessary that he would bring us the money. And then he, he brought the money to our hideout. And he told Ryan that I slept with him for the bail money and I offered to sleep with him again. That he was a real pig. He just, he laughed in our faces. He, he just, uh, now Ryan hates me. And he's, oh. he's got arrested because of me and he's probably gonna go to Jill, jail because Jillian, of me. Look at me, look at me. Don't be ashamed. You definitely made some uh, horrendous mistakes and choices. But believe it or not, I understand why you made them. You did it for Ryan. I did. I swear on the Andrashi owner I did. I was only thinking about Ryan. I wanted to help him. Oh, honey, I believe you. Do you think you can convince him? I can try. Lord knows I've made my share of uh, horrible mistakes. I, I can just uh, approach him from, from a human standpoint. You know, no, nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes and, uh, and, and life is complicated and, and sometimes you can't make the right choice. You know, sometimes you can't even know what the right choice is. Am I right? And um, can you please tell Ryan that I'm gonna get his name cleared, no matter what happens between us. I'll tell him. Officer! I think I got enough factors to create reasonable doubt. I got the testimony of the people at the pit that should create the dark character the kid has, plus Tad's testimony about crying rape all the time. That should create an impression on the jury, and, uh, of course, then we got the DNA. I gotta create 
doubt about the forensics department. If I got to bring testimony of expert witnesses, that's going to put the jury to sleep. But if I got to do it, I got to do it. Yeah. Whatever you say. Uh, hey, Tank. Do you have any trouble getting in here? No. Thanks for getting me on the A list. It's good that you're here. I think your partner here is losing hope. I'll, uh, I'll see you later, okay? Hang in there. <laughs> I tell you, you guys give new meaning to the words going postal. Uh, post, post office didn't send this. It was delivered. And we were just uh, unpacking, darling, and I... Lost my footing and now. Oh, okay, okay. I uh, don't share. <laughs> what is all this stuff anyway? It's our wedding. Adam said it. Look, darling, isn't it amazing? Amazing is the word for it. Adam has certainly outdone himself. Is there something wrong, Liza? Uh, no. I I don't like to think of myself as a hard-bitten skeptic, Stuart. It's just that when Adam is involved, I can't help but feel like I'm turning into one. Oh, I don't blame you. But, but, but just look for yourself. He said he's, he's really come through for us. Open some of these boxes. Yes, I mean, Adam said he was going to come through for the wedding plans, darling, and so he is. <laughs> well, I know. He's made grand gestures before. I mean, he's rented halls and hired bands and caterers. Oh, don't remind me. I'm so accustomed to watching my back when Adam is in a room that my head practically spins around on my neck every time he comes into a room. But I really think, darling, that he's on the up and up this time. I mean, I really do. Yeah, me too. Well, let's pray. Liza, are you keeping something back from us? Is something bothering you? Uh, I told Adam that I would give him his answer, whether I was going to marry him or not, the night of your wedding. That was to ensure that all of this goes on without a hitch. Oh, you poor darling. Oh, boy, you are in big trouble now, aren't you? Because Adam loves you so much. Maybe more than you know. That's why she's in big trouble, Stuart. Hmm. Because you want to say yes. Don't you, Liza? Since they came back to town, Hayward's been after Liza. After her, you mean he's out to get her? No, no, I mean he's buzzing around her. He's insinuated himself into the television station. He keeps giving her advice on her pregnancy. And the other day he looked me straight in the face and told me I would never marry Liza. Do you want to marry Liza? Oh, yes. But you think that David Hayward is in love with Liza? Love? Wolverines don't love. Wolverines? A wolverine is one of the few animals that kills just for the fun of it. And then they make sure that no other animal can feed off the carcass. That is David Hayward. The sooner we get rid of him, the better. Gee, there's that pesky we again. What makes you think that I'm going to help you? Because you will. You came to me. Remember? What's up, Doc? So, what'd you think? You know, I'm actually beginning to enjoy this. It's been nice getting to know you.